it's very interesting to to listen to all these experts, um, especially from uh, Dr. Xian Doctor. But uh, well, I, I principally understand the 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 principle of the space food. We now having a program, Indonesian spice up the world, so they might also Indonesia spice up the space. So I've been, I'm, I'm not a scientist. I've been observing the world of flavors, flavors of Indonesia for many, many years to observe the, uh, the indigenous cooking, the, the, the local wisdom and the comparison of taste profile from one region to the other region. By understanding the, the space food requirement, well, I, I understand that the, the weight is a major concern. That's why uh, so far I, I, I learned that the, the approach is uh, freeze dry. It doesn't matter whether we want to freeze dry whatsoever, but there's a possibility that Indonesia can contribute its flavors apply to those freeze dry food. Otherwise, those astronauts or whoever the person we get for after <laughs> eating very, very basic food. We have very complex uh, flavors. And uh, since Indonesian basic spices are using fresh spices, we, are, we have two, two elements. One is spice, spices, which is coming from the dry spices like clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, and so forth. And the other one we are having, the main majority are spice paste. We're using chili, galanga, garlic, shallot to make a paste. By adding region by region, there's dif differentiate between region and region on using of the spices. So different. Uh, I think we might be able to contribute this technology uh, uh, production if the 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 beef cube, the flavors like all those uh, bouillon cube, vegetable cube can be produced with contain some fat and some uh, some uh, glutamate inside from the origin. There could be a possibility that Indonesian uh, spice paste can be transformed into this kind of format. Easy to carry, easy to apply and cook. I don't know, I haven't heard, how is the process of cooking on the space by adding water to, to reconstitute like the dry chicken and, 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 and vegetables. Yes, I, I, I'm pretty sure there's a possibility to produce Indonesian uh, spice paste into a, into a cube form and, and, and carry. Because uh, normally what we do is we, we saute all those uh, blended ingredients with oil until it's practically like a dehydrate. So that's that's what at the moment I can I can say. But we can uh, through this process we can do a test. Uh, how to first maybe from those freeze dry uh, ingredients we cook with uh, with Indonesian uh, spice base, and later on through the industrial development and the spice. Uh, uh, the space food program, we can experiment, experimenting to, uh, to make all those spice space into a cube form. I think that that's all for the moment I can, uh, I can contribute and, and, and this is my basic comment for the moment. And uh, if there's any, any uh, product of us, 
of a freeze dry product, I can help to do some tests. Okay. okay. I'm sure <laughs> not too long. Not too long, no. But uh, Indonesia has so many different cuisines, yeah. Om William, with we have to, we have to, we cannot take all. Yeah, of course. But maybe we are just concentrated a few popular mm. in exchange because uh, you you when you're up there for six months, your palate get numb with one profile. So maybe Indonesian can can help this to change some of the profile of the taste profile yeah. and to make it more diverse on the space. Especially with the fact that the astronauts uh, like uh, they want more spicy, hot. Well, not so spicy, but more flavorful yeah, yeah. and the spices help because uh, uh, the astronaut mindset of eating mindset they have to change they are not on the ground the same like uh, i've been working with the uh, with the airline to to design a uh, airline food oh, i always say real airline food also not the restaurant food yeah the food safety factor is very dominant the most important is the food safety and then the profile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, and, uh, like, like astronauts food also now is more a functional food, right? That's why it's just so more of the nutrition needed, not so much yeah. about the taste. Like last night, I uh, shared the link on Heston's, Heston Blumenthal. So the fat dog, yeah, 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 yeah. Heston's dinner in space. Wow, I mean, it's a one and a half year project. And then uh, he tried to create a space menu for Team Peak. And um, his payload blew up <laughs> with space. I think it was SpaceX. And then, uh, of course, they went to Russia. You can't go wrong with the Soyuz, right? Uh, that Tuk Tuk is still reliable after all. And um, after two years or something, Team Peak uh, finally uh, enjoyed his um, prepared meal by Heston. For two years, can you? Would you do it, Om William? Two-year no, project. It is, I, I, my approach is more practical. <laughs> practical. It's more practical because uh, when you come come from, uh, okay, this is a kind of uh, 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 sampling. What you can do, everything can be done, but everything can be done in the matter of cost. If the cost is not a problem, that can be done, right? You don't you don't eat those kind of food every day. Yeah. What we have to create is a comfort food. Yeah, for them to be yeah, of course. grounded, be at home, and you know, and just just texture get... is also how far we can create the texture. Otherwise, every food is like a paste. Yeah, baby. right. We have we have to have uh, with freeze dry, so you you are not eating a grounded paste. So uh, I'm pretty sure if I get the, all the fresh dry ingredients, then we can we we can do the some some tests. Except, uh, of course, everything has to be like a like a non like a uh, dehydrate form. Mm -hmm. I don't know upstairs uh, on the space how they can get the liquid. The hot water. Because so, liquid liquid is very very heavy. Not allowed to have liquid on the food too. <laughs>